Hey, superstars, it's your best friend, Scott, and I've been super embarrassed about something. I've been embarrassed because it has been six months since I've made an art video, and that's been my bread and butter, you know? That's what my channel's supposed to be all about. Not, hey, look, Scott spent way too much money on Cleveland Indians baseball cards again. Or, hey, look, Scott got to hang out with other YouTubers at a baseball card show. I'm gonna put the studios back in Reindeer Studios because as we all know, this channel has nothing to do with Reindeer. Anyway, I am sorry, and as sort of a peace offering to you, my best friends, I'm doing an art video for all three of my four-year anniversary brouhaha winners. This is the first of those three for the first winner and the first person who made an entry, actually, Adam from Vintage Sanctuary. And I know Adam likes Stan Musial and Willie Mays and Nolan Ryan and Mike Schmidt, whom he believes is actually Chuck Norris, and I'd enjoy drawing any one of those guys, but I also know Adam likes what he calls Yankee contributors, so I'm drawing for him 1951 World Series hero Eddie Lopat. Now, I didn't ask him what he wanted, and I didn't discuss this with Adam at all, actually, and I feel a little dirty drawing a Yankee. And I know any one of those other guys I mentioned would get more views. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this voiceover. I've almost convinced myself that I should have drawn one of those other guys. But you know what? Adam is an odd duck, and I really appreciate his odd duckiness. And I think he'd appreciate me taking the odd route on this one, so... Um, oh, man. I've totally forgotten how to do an art video, and I'm... <laughs> I'm going to let the music roll while I think of something else to say here. I started looking up Eddie Lopat stats because I probably know less about this guy than you do, which is next to nothing other than he's left-handed. I know Adam told me that he was sort of the hero of the 1951 World Series, so I looked that up first. He pitched and won two complete games, giving up one run over 18 innings, not too shabby there. From 1946 to 54, he never had a losing record. And that's a real steady Eddie if you ask me. Oh wait, that was actually his nickname. I'm not as clever as I think I am sometimes. He went 21-9 in 1951 with an all-star appearance, and his next best year was probably 1953 when he went 16-4 and, and led the AL with a 2.42 ERA. And I know stats can be kind of boring, so the only other interesting thing I found was that his real last name was Lopatinsky, which I think is way awesomer than Lopat. And there he is. It felt good to finally put out an art video again. I'm so glad I remembered how to draw. I really like how Yankee Stadium turned out back there. So, Adam, this is probably in the mail on its way to you. I hope you like it, sir. Thank you again for participating in the brouhaha and for spreading all of your positive vibes. As always, thank you guys for watching and keep an eye out for the other two brouhaha winner doodles. Uh, I'm still trying to wordsmith my little sign off because it still feels a little awkward, but remember to love your hobby and make it unique to you. Or maybe I should say love your collection by making it unique to you. I don't know. We'll see you on the next one.